What do you see, Suna? How are your people, Rolo? Recovered and ready for what tonight holds? Gerhild's treachery was a blow. Few were surprised it came to that, only that her dark ways took such a brutal turn. Put that aside. We're ready now. What would you have of us? Wait for my signal. When I approach Estrid, that is your time. I am your axe, Eivor. Night will fall soon. Then is our moment to strike. Gives us everything we need in this life and the next. What? What's going on? My head is spinning with the mead and fires. I might even dance a jig on two. And not to get lost in the pure joy of life and a good harvest. Stand up, way factor. Where is the same? What's that about?
I think, aren't we? Oh, what a thrill! My heart is racing! No beats at all. Your screaming drew half the guards in Colchester down upon us. I wanted to give a good performance. My father always said I was quite the actor. I won't deny your enthusiasm. Did you not have even a little fun? Steal away a princess. It did give a thrill. A woman fights bravely against her abductors. What do they do with me now? Is my virtue safe with you? It's not in danger, if that's what you mean. Come now, Eivor. You can <sighs> You shudder at a maiden's gentle teasing? It is done, and all that stands between me and my home now is a foaming ribbon of surf and silt. You did well, Rolo. You and your people. Are you ready to sail? Loki's hissing sun churns the waters between our coasts. We'll need time to rest as we wait for fairer weather. Have a care, then. Alfred's soldiers will be looking for Estre, even if beer stands will not. Now's not the time for such worries, A4. Tonight, we celebrate! Let's get you some mead! Birstan will meet you northeast of Colchester tomorrow. You have earned all my husband promised, and more. Come find me, if you like, away from these reveling Danes. I should find Piston. No doubt he's hunting again. Yes! <laughs> A ruse worthy of the trickster Loki. They're either. Made me feel young again. And I have you to thank. You believe me? Go on. Won't make that mistake again. I am proud of us. We did a good thing for Estrid and her lord. What lies ahead, I wonder? A new life, or an old life renewed? My old life, Frankia, 
Mon Dieu, I feel as if I have been sleepwalking these past years, waiting for something to shake me awake. Are you awakened now? Yes. These past weeks have been stirring, breathtaking. Your passion and strength. Eivor, I've never met such a burning soul. You make too much of it. All I have done, I did for my clan and the glory it brought me. Why does your honesty make you more alluring still? Le cœur a ses raisons que la raison ne connaît point. Did you dream while you sleepwalked? I did. I dreamed that all my fleeting happiness was a prelude to something bigger. Glimpses of greater joy, greater love. Lie with me, Eivor, under the stars of England. Give me a last bittersweet moment before I leave her shores. I'll be with you tonight, but tomorrow your new life must begin. I hope you will not look back. Shh, still your lips and come here.
Hold faith, for soon we'll be hunting. Beerston, Estrid said you'd be here. Eivor, dear heart, you who drew back the bow of Eros and reunited me with my one true love. Have your things asked why you do not look for Estrid? Pish, they have asked, yes. I said it was hopeless. Then I lay upon my couch, sobbing and wailing. A pretty show. That may not be enough. Tut, tut. The wind is soft upon our faces, and I am far from the whispering doors of Colchester. Come, let's hunt! Four! A majestic animal, don't you think? Driven by a fierce fire, blazing eyes and sword tusks. I once knew a strong-armed shield maiden who rode a ball into battle. She named it Bristlebolt. How wondrously strange! Your tales are worthy of the hearing. We'll not ride our boars, but eat them. A feast in Alvida's honor. A feast for your mistress. Birsten, if this ruse falls apart, King Alfred will strip you of your title. Our alliance will be worthless. Have no fear. I shall be discreet. We will eat and sup at my hall with a few friends and family. It is there our friendship will be sealed. So soon as the Lamas. Will people there not recognize me? No, you are just one more Dane. And in that chaos, who remembers anything but the screams of dear Estrid? These are your lands. I trust in your judgment. And how is Olvida? She is a firebrand. We have rekindled our love as if we were teenagers. Even Ellerich is a welcome addition. A younger brother to me, yet more alike to a son. The things I should like to teach him. Ah, this is the spot. The best boar here. A good hunt, Beerston. And enough for one day, I think. Even my thanes will not go hungry with this catch, and they are as voracious as wolves snatching at my carcass. They may give you grief, but I have been nothing but amused. They're a welcome change to warring yarls and piss sudden politics. You have brought us all true happiness, Eivor. I thank you from the bottom of a heart full up with joy. Beerston, the heart hound who sought his true love by searching the sad haven of his memory and finding her there. Beautifully said, my friend. Beautifully said. Come, Percy, you hapless hound. Barely a boar worried. I do not know why I keep you in my employ.
What are your plans for Essex and your family? There is much that is new in this old fling. Alvada is changed. The girl I fell in love with lies behind years of hardship. And Ellerich? A soft lad, but with a heart as stout as his sister's. Their closeness does them both credit. The way he looks at me is often strange. His eyes furtive and downcast, like a hound waiting for his master's crop. It worries me, to be honest. Can I be both a brother to him and a love to his sister? Give him time, Beerston. He had his sister to himself all his life. Yes, yes. But tell me, Avel, did you succumb to my flighted bird's charms? She can turn one a-tremble with her eyes. You're talking of Estrid? Do not be coy. It does not suit you. It's not coyness that keeps me quiet, Beerston. We grew close. I won't say more. Fair enough. I should not pry. All that to say, I am only glad she has found a chance at happiness again. Lord knows I could not give her that. But these are grim thoughts, and I will not let them lay their cold grip upon me. Tonight, we feast and celebrate. Home and hearth never used to stir the soul as the hunt did. But now, my Alvida is here. All is changed. Oh, Bearston. You promised we would never be apart, not for one waking or sleeping moment, and already you're sneaking out to hunt. <laughs> for the feast, sweetling. We owe our mutual friend a great debt, one that I promised to repay over suckling pig and ale. Sister, have you forgotten where you are? I have a right to happiness, Elreach. Or am I to play nursemaid forever, you ungrateful pup? Happiness, yes. But you embarrass yourself nightly, heaving and sweating with this hamhock. Hold your tongue, boy. Lest we both speak our truths. What truth have you to speak? That you've returned to this fickle man who abandoned you years ago for a Frankish pet? A woman he paid this dame to abduct in that lamish shadow play? Mind yourself, boy. Or that you let him sniff and paw you and take him to your bed on the promise of nothing? The whole of Essex whispers now. He's married still. His wife freshly stole him and you are no more than... Then his... I am the mother of his child, you whelp! Child? Alvida? Please, my boy, I... I... I will never forgive you for this. Never! <laughs> my lord! Joyous news! God smiles upon us this very day! Estrid has been found by Alfred's men. They ride to her rescue as we speak. I will not let this plot be undone. Nothing is safe till they are away to Frankia. I will fix this, and one day I will call on you, and you will come. You can count on it, my friend. I wanted to tell you so many times. Hush, Angel. Do not fret, sir. He hates me. What have I done? We must go after him. He will not stray far, Lamb. Much has been said this day, but if... If he is my son, our son, we must believe he will return to us. Are you leering at me, Lord? Your Beerstons, High Dane, do not think what you did went unseen. Yet tell me one thing. Is Estrid safe and happy? She is happy. That much I know. Good. Now leave. And if we meet again, you will fall by my sword. <laughs> Estrid should have ruled this land. I would have followed her anywhere. Estrid is so close to freedom. I hope I'm not too late. What? How can 
this be? Lork, stand by Estrid. Guard her with your life. If she's taken, all is lost for us and Beeston. Come, lady. It would not do for them to take you back. Watch out! <laughs> Lark! Odin, no! Release the woman, Danes! I promised I would free you of your life in Wessex. Frankia awaits your return. Go now, with Aegir's blessing. I will miss you, Eivor. When winter is past, summer will come and wind you in a flowered skirt. For you are beauty and shall not wither. Goddess Freya, give me more of that. Come, take care of her, Rollo Stoutheart. And if you find yourself on England's shores again, I will expect you in my hall. Good. They are safe. Beerston could have sent them the Borican. And Esther is to thank you. I should have turned to Ruffy.
May I see your stores? Is that what you want? I do good work, I must say. I must take my leave. Be well, my friend. In Essex, I played a matchmaker and a heartbreaker. An easy way to forge an alliance. But let us stick to war and diplomacy. Understood. Thank you, Eivor. Hey, my boy. Message has come. 